My name is Martin Clark and I'm a lecturer in the music department. As well as that, I also serve as Director of Teaching for Arts and Humanities. The Director of Teaching role takes up most of my teaching time and that's mainly involved with the work of the Board of Studies, which is looking at module specifications, uh, the annual quality review process and business such as that. All of that can seem a little dry at times, um, but for me, it's really important that I can draw on my um, long years of service as an associate lecturer and think about the students that I've met and the difference that OU's study has made to them. Just recently, I was reacquainted with a student I taught on the music module A224 Inside Music at her graduation, where she was graduating with a first class honours, and she spoke so warmly about the difference that tutors had made to her and also to the whole ethos of studying with the OU. As well as that side of my role, I'm involved in research in music, and particularly at the moment with the Listen and Experience database project, along with several of my colleagues. That's a large funded project by AHRC in which we're looking at the ways in which people from any background and any period in history write about their experiences of listening to music. My part of that project is involved with looking at listening experiences of music in religious contexts, which ties in with my wider interests in music, theology and religion. Just at the moment, I'm working on um, a project for our upcoming conference, the Listening Experience Database, looking at the ways in which people engage online as part of their experience of listening to BBC Radio 3's re weekly broadcast of Choral Evensong and how a community of attentive and interactive listeners has been built up and the kind of values that they talk about in their experiences of listening.